In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Quick Album feature found in the Pixel Creator Pro 5 Productivity Suite. Now, the Quick Album feature is only part of the Productivity Suite, so if we click on Utilities menu, and you see here Quick Album, if that's grayed out and it's non-functional, it says Buy Now, that means you do not own the Productivity Suite or you do not have the Productivity Suite installed. So the first thing we have to do is understand how uh, the setup for Quick Album functions. If I come in here to Adobe Bridge, I have a folder of images here of a high school senior uh, that I want to produce an album for very quickly without actually designing it completely from scratch. What I do know is what images I intend to use on what spread. Um, so it's just a matter of first defining the number of spreads I'm going to be creating for this layout. For this example, I'm going to be doing uh, two, or excuse me, three spreads. So under utilities here, right next to a quick album is a bun button that says generate spread folders. If I click on that button, I can define the number of spread folders I want to automatically create. So we're going to do three spread folders with a folder prefix of the word spread, which Quick Album requires in order to recognize uh, the spread folders. And we're going to use two digits and hit process. So when I come into this folder, you can see I have spread one, two, and three. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take some images and copy them into the folders of how I want this album layout to be. So we're going to do four uh, images in spread one. We're going to do these five images I'm going to use for spread three. And for the other spread, let's do these three images here. So spread two will be three. So we have four, three, and five images respectively. Now let's go back into Photoshop and under utilities, we can choose quick album. It's very, very straightforward. Now we do have an advanced button here in Quick Album, and what that allows us to do is to find more than one album uh, generation at a time. In fact, we can do click on New Page, and you can see we can add as many album configurations as we need to. So if I needed to quickly generate 30 different albums, uh, I certainly could do that. And the other fun thing, too, is not only can we do that, but we could actually uh, generate more than one album at a time for the very same client. So if I wanted, because what's going to happen here, Quick Album is just going to randomly create an album. And what I could do is I could set up, uh, have it create a second album automatically randomly and then choose which one of the two random layouts that I prefer the best. So that could be a fun pro process too. So it's, it's, but the process is the same whether you're doing one or you're doing a thousand and one albums. It's exactly the same. So uh, for our source folder of images, we've defined our high school senior folder, uh, senior girl 01. So that's already been defined for us. And then for the template folder, when we click on templates, it asks us, do we want to populate an individual file or folder of templates? And we want to we want to select a folder of templates. And the only series of templates that work with Quick Album that ship with Pixel Creator Pro are the Pixel Creator Pro category of templates. So where do you find those templates to be able to define that folder? You would go to your C drive, program files, Pixel Creator Pro 5, and then finally our templates folder and that's where you'll find the Pixel Creator Pro category. Now if you're on a Mac you would just go to your applications folder Pixel Creator Pro 5 templates and you'll find the same Pixel Creator Pro category. But within this category all of the uh, templates are broke down by number of image openings and this is so Quick Album can pair up the number of images in those spread folders with the templates themselves. Now um, also, the Picto Design Gallery Volume 1, Picto Design Gallery Volume 2, as well as our new Easy Album Template Collections, all of them are structured in the same way, so all of those would work with Quick Album as well. So once we've uh, defined our source folder, our template folder, we're going to most generally always use the randomize option, where it's just going to randomly pick a template willy-nilly. Um, and then for our folder format, we use this percent %02D openings. This tells Quick Album we have two digits 
followed by the word openings and these are the folders you're supposed to consider for the template folders and then finally we define the width and height of the layout that we're looking to create which in this case we'll do a 10 by 20 and then where the target folder uh, where we want this to be saved and I'm just going to save it here on my desktop in this senior 01 folder and hit process and you can see what's going to happen here the first thing uh, is it, it's going to create a three opening template or excuse me the first folder has four openings so it just randomly picked a four opening template from the library and it's now dropping in our images now it's going to drop those images in uh, just kind of willy-nilly uh, there is no uh, quote unquote correct way uh, for, for to insert images uh, because we have tools in Pixel Creator Pro where we can easily edit this layout uh, however we need to so our main goal is just to get the layouts created quickly um, so it's finishing up our last image and of course normally we would walk away let the computer do the work and we come back and see what it's created for us now this next folder of images has three openings so it randomly picked a three opening template which it is now populating with our images And then finally, our final uh, layout, which has five openings. Sometimes the results that you get from Quick Album will be very, very nice, and sometimes they won't be uh, so very nice. Uh, just, just because the template it picked at random doesn't necessarily go very well with the images um, that we are uh, populating the layout with. But there's an easy fix for that, which we'll show you once it's completed that last layout. So all three of those threads are now done and we didn't have to do any work to those whatsoever. So now once we've done uh, those layouts initially we can come in to Adobe Bridge here and see what it's created for us. So on the desktop in Senior 01 we have a series of spreads and let's just go ahead and open up the second one uh, inside Photoshop and we can look at some of the different edits that we might do. For example um, I might just take my background color and we'll do a black background so we use Pixel Creator to convert our background to black and then I might just come into layer styles and we'll do a fill opacity of 40 percent and you can kind of see what that did it just kind of darkened up that image I think that looks kind of nice and then what I might do is I might come into layout tools and choose adjust image placement and all that's going to allow me to do is reposition this image up a bit because I think that's a little bit better placement there. And then over here on the right, I just want to make this image bigger for this example. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to free transform it however I think it needs to be. Now, obviously, I've distorted that image within, but for this example, we'll just close Layout Tools, Swap Selected Image, and it'll just replace that image for me. So it's just going to go back to the original high res file, drop it into place for me. And I think that looks great just like that. And we made that small change, and I think it looks great. Um, and we're just going to leave it at that. So you can see you can make it your own very, very quickly and easily just by making a couple of really basic edits. So let's go ahead and save that and close that spread and let's go back into bridge here and let's take a look at another spread so this will be uh, our first spread that we generated so there is let's go ahead and close this layout 
So now with this particular layout, um, it's actually a pretty nice layout just the way it is. But what if the quick album generates a layout that we just do not like? You know, some of the different layout configurations that we have may not necessarily go very well together. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to our for opening category and we're just going to pick a different template. Let's say I like this template right here. So I just I have chosen a different template here in Adobe Bridge and then I come into uh, utilities and then we have this swap template feature which will allow us to just swap those templates out. So it's going to take that template I selected in Bridge it needs to generate the template and then it's going to take the images that we used in the initial layout and just copy them over to our new layout. The one thing I would caution you on in this process once this new layout has been created it's going to overwrite the existing layout that it automatically generated. So if you want to keep that existing layout you would have to save it to another location because now that we've generated a new template right over the top of it, it will no longer exist. So it's just copying over the images from our initial layout into the new layout. So now we have our new configuration and now we can determine if there are certain images that would be better in different locations. Obviously we have some editing to do here, but what I might do is I might again come in here to my layout tools and choose black background and just convert the uh, background to black. In fact, you know, another thing we could do that might be fun is just to make a selection of the entire spread and come in here to uh, some background textures and just drop in a different background texture altogether. So let's just uh, maybe grab this yellow one for example and we'll just choose insert photo here in Pixel Creator Pro and we'll just drop in a nice background texture to this spread and that's what's well, you know working with Pixel Creator Pro is so nice because it's so flexible on the different things that we can do um, just to really add some pizzazz uh, to our layouts. Now from here uh, we may not like uh, that yellow texture so what I might do is I might just come in here and just add a let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer to this and what that will do is allow me to change the uh, color uh, so we'll hit colorize and we'll, we'll boost the saturation and then we can pick a color that might better go better uh, with what we're looking to do Maybe something like that. Being so our image has some blue in it. Whatever you want to do, you know, you're pretty flexible. We can lower. You know, that's kind of pretty too. You know, whatever you want to do. Now, as far as the images themselves, let's go ahead and select a couple of images. I'm just going to select these two images and choose Layout Tools, Swap Selected Images. So it's just going to flip flop the two. And all we have to do is specify where those images came from. So in my case, we come into Kevin here, and we're going. I have those in my pictures folder, and it'll go ahead and flip flop those two for us. So now the image that was on top has been moved down here, and we'll just reposition it. And the image that was on the bottom will be put on the top. And you know, just because the configuration is one way doesn't mean we have to leave it this way. We can do whatever we want to to this layout. So everything is its own separate layer. So for example, I might want to just change this image opening altogether. I'm just going to stretch it out here. Now obviously I've distorted the image within but if I just choose swap selected image it's just going to reset that image but it's going to reset it to the new window size. 
So now the image is reinserted without any distortion. On the background image here, I'm just going to select it and choose Layout Tools and choose this option, Adjust Aperture. And what that does, it allows me to adjust the image opening within this layout. We might want to come back to here. Now, this is, a, this is another great tool in Pixel Creator Pro. What I want to do is take this top image opening and make it the exact same width as these two. So I'm going to use Quick Guide to the left to automatically generate a guideline right on the left edge of that opening and then come back in here to that adjust aperture and because I have a guideline to snap to now I'm going to snap this aperture right to that guideline and then I could reposition my image within that image opening if I like and then finally we have to adjust this last image layout tools adjust image placement and we'll just reposition the image so you can see how we have a very different looking layout entirely just by making a couple of simple edits um, and you'll find that that quick album will be a great tool to help you quickly generate album layouts and the new auto album uh, version 3 that we're coming out with that will replace quick album will have even more uh, features than that but that gives you a basic understanding of how quick album works you can see it um, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, demonstration and hope you look forward to the new auto album version 3 thanks for watching